Hello. It's Susan Cow Miller. <laughs> Quick flash went through my mind. I hope this is working, but I think I'm live. Uh, yesterday I intended doing one, but I actually got my little granddaughter, who's not very well at the moment, in. And I'm also suffering from a little bit of jet lag, too, because <laughs> I had to go to my bed at half past eight last night, so I was up at half past five. But today I want to talk about health, the health aspect, but very simply I want to try and explain to you the points and phases of, of a health symptom, whether it's physical or emotional. And um, just before I started, I also looked out the bedroom window and I saw the little children going off to school and I thought, wow, I wonder when they'll be going back. I was a teacher for over well over 30 years, so that may come across with some of the way I, I deal with my videos. However, I want to start and discuss, I'm going to be reading my notes again because I'm not quite relaxed into this. Um, I might work with helping people with stress, but I can get a little bit hyper myself. Ask my husband, we've had words already. Anyway, First of all, I want to reiterate the groups of people who seem to be a bit more susceptible to this coronavirus and extending that to chronic ailments. Why does this happen? And dealing with fear, but it's very simple today. I'm going to be talking about how our body, how our body works. So if you want to give me five or ten minutes, to have a bit of background understanding in this so that when the NHS refuses to give you some help because you're just a bog standard person who's complaining about their chronic situation, which they'll be more polite than the way I've worded it just now, um, perhaps it's a good idea to listen. Uh, there are groups of people. The groups of people are folk that suffer from hypertension, high blood pressure. Might take mine after this. Diabetes pre-existing heart conditions, cardiovascular stuff, and respiratory problems, bronchial concerns, can't breathe, classic symptoms when people panic. So I'm going to try and explain in simple terms how our body responds and works. So when you feel ill, this is what might have been happening, sorry, this is what will have been happening in the background because there are points and phases to this. So here goes, basic level information. Um, number one, some stress trigger will have made us jump into um, a stress phase. So we need a stress trigger, number one. It could be something that's happened at home, work, fa a family situation, Something that gives one, you, me, a knee-jerk reaction and we're in stress. It can be big or small and it's big or small because it's big or small to you. It's probably monumental, actually. So number two, you're in the stress phase. It's working in the background. It can be a long time... <laughs> Hi, Louise. It can be... A long stress phase or a short stress phase. It can be to do with overwhelm, anger, fear, helplessness, hopelessness. You're in a stress phase dealing with a life situation, a stress at home, a work situation, family situation and you're in this stress phase. So that's point two. Point three is there's a thing called, if I can get my teeth around this, a regeneration trigger. This simply means that the stress is over. The situation has finished. It's ended. It's completed. It could be happily completed, ended or finished. It could be satisfactorily completed, ended or finished. Um, finished. It could be unhappy, but the stress phase is over. It's finished. It's past. It's complete. Now, 
Sorry, I'm reading this little bit of... I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going to interrupt. We then go into the regeneration phase. Now, the regeneration phase is when you have an illness, when you have pain. Uh, perhaps I might take that away. My colleagues will be jumping on my back with that. It's when an illness, the physical symptom or the emotional symptom looms its ugly head. Again, I'll qualify myself by trying to make this as simple as possible. So the regeneration, the illness, it's when we feel ill. And that's our body healing. Our body said, oh, the stress is over. Thank goodness for that. I wonder if that was going to happen. This is all on a cellular level. Way without one's understanding, probably. And you feel ill. The stress is over. Your body says, thank you very much. I'm now going to heal. It regenerates. In a lot of ways, it makes itself stronger. But we can feel horribly ill. Now, these illnesses can be mild. They can be serious and they can be fatal. So think of the song head, head, shoulders, knees and toes. Think about that. Think about bowel. Think about head. Think about heart. Think about women's body parts, men's body parts, the stuff that causes embarrassment, you name it. Something that you may have is now going into regeneration and you feel ill. Let's assume you, you go through the process and then you feel better. And all this is going on when life's going on. But if you under, begin to have an understanding of how your body's working, then it helps. So anyway, you feel ill, you've gone through the process, and then you feel better. Let's assume some time's passed. And again, excuse me reading my notes, because I want to try and get this right for you to understand it. Sometime later, sooner or later, very quickly, perhaps, a same kind of trigger starts the whole process again. And this, in chronic conditions, it's, it's a trigger that's related and the body recognises it. So these are my words that I'm about to repeat in the next part. Your body responds to the, a recognised stress trigger at a cellular level. And lo and behold, you've gone into the stress phase again. So think for a moment. You can appreciate that each time a similar associated stressor, subconsciously probably, is triggered, it exacerbates and increases the physical symptom. The physical symptom that shows up when your illness appears, when you're in regeneration. Now, I hope I haven't lost some of you. But this is the bit I put in a piece of paper. And um, I've said, so now that the NHS is not able to give us all the quick fix, the medication that we need, and we need it now, we want it now because we're used to having it now, it's time to at least try to understand how our bodies and the ever-powerful mind works. But today I'm talking about the 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 five, five reasons why we portray an illness. I'm not going into the woo-woo stuff with the head, other than don't let your head rule your body. Go away and take some deep breaths. Uh, right, give me a moment while I check what I've read and what I want to read. Okay. Yeah. So when that situation, that stress phase completes, the regeneration trigger is the illness. Now, what could the regeneration trigger be in its simplest terms? Hello, Barbara. It could mean, oh, that fight's over. The child is happy. My partner loves me. The bitch bastard has left work. <laughs> you know, it's like if you're having a hellish time at work, when that person moves out of your sphere, you're relaxing a bit. All these things, 
chronic health conditions, whatever it is, I know, has a root cause stress trigger. Hearts, lungs, legs, they're all different, hugely different. But when you work with someone who understands this, and in its simplest terms, I just ask a few questions, but I'm not going to talk about me, me, me. I'm trying to help you. Whenever these examples of regeneration triggers happen, the child feels better. Louise, in this state, you'll be feeling better in a little while when she snaps. Um, your body kind of relaxes. So we've got to be careful with how much stress we put ourselves under because if we put ourselves under a huge amount of stress, then the healing phase is worse. It's stronger. And, and, and when you're working with a professional lifestyle prescription, I forgot to introduce what I do. I'm a lifestyle prescriptions health coach and a stress and anxiety management practitioner. But the body, if it's continually getting re-stressed, the healing phase can take a, the, the clearing of the root cause as to why this is happening, um, potentially in the body healing, can take longer. I think I've kind of waffled a little bit there. I hope I haven't lost you. But it's frightening. These things are frightening. It's frightening for me. And I understand the way my body works, but I've been a work in progress now for quite a long time. And um, it's fascinating what's mended and healed and, and gets sorted. So finding the root cause, the initial reason why we're ill, helps us to help ourselves and to allow the self-healing to start working. Finding the root cause, I could be flippant here and say is actually often very straightforward. But doing the work, the energy work to clear it. Unless you're trained, people can't do that themselves because the mind kicks in. I've thrown away my notes now. The mind kicks in and you think with your 5% conscious brain that you know the answers. But you might find that your chronic condition keeps coming back and coming back. I'm going to finish off in a moment because other days I want to do little techniques. I mean, I did drop in my EFT video, which is when people are going to be highly, highly stressed, they either need to start breathing better, do some tapping, or just close down for some moments because otherwise there's a lot of headless, dangerous chickens running about. So let's see if I can end this on a fun note. I'm not sure I can. I'm basically finished. I'd like you all to look after yourselves. I'd like you to do, a, my lifestyle prescription from today is very simple. If you're starting to panic about, or over worry about something, you must sit down, you must go, you must remove yourself from the situation. Go into a different room. And sit and do two minutes or five minutes of deep breathing to get a handle on how you're going to spend the rest of your day. Or learn to tap. Or seek the help. The time may have come to seek a different kind of professional health person, a health coach. I work, my, my work revolves around the belief system, emotions, stress, lifestyle habits, social, social behaviour and nutrition. Now, I'm able to help people in, in many of these areas. I'm certainly not a nutritionalist. But we, we, we health coaches are professionals. And I would be recommending you. Yet these things cost money. But my goodness me, let's, if anyone takes two seconds to think about how we waste a lot of money, the time's come to look into your health a little bit better. And there's, there's people out there that can help you. 
And um, I've got wonderful colleagues who were all just wanting to let people understand the way the body works. I'm going to very quickly reiterate before you all switch off. There's five, let's say, make it simple, five phases. You have a stress trigger. Something sets you off. And then whatever set you off, whether it's a life situation, a partner situation, a family situation, a work situation, you then deal with whatever trouble it is in the stress phase. And the stress phase can last a short time or a very long time. But that stress phase will end because the situation will have resolved, it'll have healed, it'll, um, it'll be over. And the stress is gone. So that's the regeneration trigger. The situation has ended. And you get the regeneration trigger to allow that stress to have ended because it will have ended naturally or some solution will have made that stress phase end. And then you go into stage four. The bit we hate, we don't like the illness, the health symptom. Sorry, I'm beginning to sound like somebody on television. You go into the health symptom. A simple resolution, a simple health mending system, which the body says, thank you for the stress phase being over. I'm now going to mend and we heal and we do not like it. We don't like it if it's a small health symptom. We don't like it if it's an acute, wrong word, don't listen to the word acute, or a serious health symptom. Or um, we don't like what our body's doing, but our body's healing after a stress situation and then there's a period of calm until you're re-triggered. I work with the re-triggering where specifically your body is showing its signs and for today, hi Jane, for today that's over. We all need, <laughs> it's a preaching teacher message, we all need to understand how our body works because we're not going to be able to get the medicine or the, there's going to be no who knows the doctor's not i wanted to see the doctor yesterday but something my daughter said when you get back home you see the doctor anyway with whatever i was wanting to show the doctor i can't for two reasons one um i've been she said um the main reason is that i've only been back in the country for about two and a half days these doctors have to protect themselves and the box standard Joe public are going to hate it because we're, we're used to this quick fix. We're used to the doctor giving us something to make us feel a bit better. That doesn't cure what's wrong. Um, I have a website, hamshire-eft.co.uk. If you want to ask me anything or send me a question, please do. I'm learning to redo Facebook Lives. And um, I can't see any questions here or anything because I'm doing it on my phone. Thank you for listening. Do you get in touch if you want to ask me a question. I actually offer a free root cause analysis um, to your health symptom. And, you know, I've got a belief, I've got a mental block with this slightly that I should work on. I believe that a lot of you people won't believe that I can have some answers to give you within 20 minutes or half an hour. The big work for you to help yourself gets done with my help afterwards. Okay, I'm certain that my son and my daughter will let me know if I've gone OTT or whether this has been useful. Bye.